All right, back here at Black Point. It's uh, August 18th. We've had like two weeks of just almost constant rain in the afternoon. A lot of fresh water coming into the lagoon. And uh, I have been fishing in the mouths of Sebastian River. And the water coming out there is stained, but it isn't really, really dirty. I'm out here now, and uh, I've seen it look a lot worse out here. Right now, it looks like uh, really dark tea. I've been out here when it looks like day-old coffee, and that was really terrible. But I've got about a foot visibility. I can't really tell what's going on with the grass. I do see some grass floating on the surface. Um, you know, for now, I think it's going to be okay. As long as we don't get a hurricane, if we get a hurricane over the next month or two, that one could be devastating to the grass out here right now. But right now, um, yesterday and today, uh, the rains have lit up. And I think in another week or two, this is going to clear up and look really nice again. Um, I'm going to put the cameras down. I really can't tell what's down there. It's about two, two and a half foot deep right here. Uh, a lot of bait around. I don't see any manatees. Uh, last time I saw a lot of manatees grazing in this area, so curious to see what they did. Uh, gonna put the cameras down. Let's see what happens. Well, I paddled over it. Overall, you know, it's pretty much what I expected. You know, I actually expect a little worse looking. So hopefully the cameras will show uh, something that's good on the bottom. There's some grass, but. I think the manatees and uh, I don't think it's thick as it was last time but uh, people ask me what can they do to help with the grass and what you can do is in your own backyard if you use a roundup stop using that stuff that stuff is bad and you need to talk to your city councils councilmen and people that you put in office in local government because they're the ones that are authorizing the spraying and a lot of the local canals lakes and things like that. Now it could be two things. Either they not knowing how bad it is and just listening to what the chemical companies are telling them. It's the same thing the, chem chemical, the uh, chemical companies are telling uh, a jury and the jury just awarded a couple two billion dollars in a roundup lawsuit. So uh, two billion dollars is a lot of money to go to two people. Okay, and there's probably there's a reason why is because what they say isn't what they mean so you got to be a little uh, careful about that using 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 that stuff bottom line you know we just we got to stop spraying the canals and because what sprays in the canals ends up here in the lagoon and um, it's bad and just killing the weeds which actually weeds is a good thing in a canal if you got a canal it's full of weeds that's a natural filter it filters all the nutrients out of the water you kill the weeds it turns to muck it sinks to the bottom when it rains like we've had lately it washes the dead vegetation out it washes all the chemicals out everything comes out here into the lagoon and it just causes, you know, you're going to have blue-green algae blooms and red tide and everything else. As you know, it's been record every year. It just gets worse and worse. And every year they spray more and more. I can remember before they sprayed, you know, you had a break out of a red tide every once in a blue moon. People never even heard of blue-green algae back in those days because it was so rare. Now we're feeding it. We are feeding it, we're spraying, we're killing everything that can help control it, we're killing. In the name of so-called progress. So, if you want to do something, stop the spraying in your neighborhood. That's a great start. Until next time, this is Pete Hink. We'll see ya.